Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us this evening. Um, my name is Donna Wilson. I'm the registered manager for Surrey Choices Shared Live Service. Um, I don't know um, how much you already know about Shared Lives, but hopefully I'm just going to give you a little introduction um, to, to tell you a little bit about Shared Lives and how it works within Surrey Choices um, and also give you an opportunity to ask any questions. And, and of, of, obviously, if anybody wants to contact me personally at a later date to discuss individual uh, circumstances, then that's absolutely fine as well. So thank you. OK, so our, our shared life service, um, we can offer long term arrangements, um, short breaks for people and additional support, um, which is which is day support or, you know, it might be in the evening. We, we call it day support, but it might be more flexible support to do things like um, skills building, learning, um, you know, particular skills like maybe preparing a meal or it might be companionship someone might just want to kind of to build relationships and friendships and access their community as well um Hello. with our log oh. hiya all right hiya you're right no pub darling no you're not going to the pub with them go in there <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to the pub i'd like to be at the pub too hiya rod um go in there rod now go watch tom and Joe. Hello. Rod. Hi, Rod. Don't watch someone. Right. Rubes. Don't watch. Oh, I'm muted as well. Sorry. Um. So with our long-term arrangements, um, people are living um with with shared lives carers in in ordinary family homes. Um, we we've, we've had people that have lived with their shared lives carers for over twenty years. We have people that live for with their shared lives carers for a shorter amount of time, as maybe building up um with the view to moving on to more independent um living. Um, and with with short breaks, we have some people that have um regular short breaks maybe once a month one weekend a month things like that but we also have people that might come and have a short break with us um, if there's an emergency situation within their families um, so yeah it, it really really varies on the, the type of support and the length of support that we can give individuals uh, we're an award-winning service. Um, we were very fortunate to, to win two awards um, last year, which were national awards, and we are very, very proud of ourselves. Uh, we won the uh, Pandemic Lifeline Award for showing resilience in our service for, for the work that we did throughout COVID, or we're still continuing to do, obviously. Um, and also um, two of our, our, our Shared Lives Carers, Francesca and Riaz, won Outstanding Shared Lives Carer of the Year Award. Um, so for us, uh, it was it was fabulous to, to, to win any award is fantastic but to actually win two was was absolutely brilliant so so just want to tell you a little bit about why people choose shared lives now people come into shared lives for all different reasons um it, it could be that they just um would like a, a home a home to live that it could be that they'd like that that break and that respite but there's lots of people want to be um engaged and involved in their communities they want to become part of their local communities and and shared lives is because we are supporting our carers are supporting people from individual family homes it means that people are right in the heart of their, their communities. Um, and it means that they get to build friendships, relationships very, very naturally. I always like to think about, you know, your, your neighbors having a barbecue and you get invited along, that kind of thing. It, it's the perfect scenario for, for someone to kind of get more involved within their community because these are just, you know, normal households. We have carers that um, are, you know, maybe care loan carers that work on their own. And we also have carers that care as part of their family. They might, they might have children themselves and, and things like that. So, the, the, the other beauty of it is that people are offered really kind of um, individual one-to-one -one support. So the carer gets to really understand the individual that they're working with, gets to know about their likes, their dislikes, you know, what, what makes someone tick, what makes someone happy, what they want to achieve. And because carers are working so closely with individuals, it's like the perfect scenario for, for people to upskill and really be living the lives that they want to live. Um, we quite often 
find that carers and and people will will be like-minded so they might have similar hobbies you know similar interests and that they they can share together which is perfect um you know for things like additional support that that's lovely because um someone might have a particular hobby and we we potentially could match them with a, a carer that also has that hobby so they can spend time doing things like that together um we encourage um skills building and independence building very much um within shared lives but again because people are just living in homes that they're, they're learning those skills uh, directly off their carers in that environment quite often people might use um shared lives for um moving on to more independent living so some of our younger people might come into shared lives for a short period of time with the view to, to moving on to something like supported living or even living independently with support going in uh, so again we we offer lots of different types of arrangement long-term short breaks and ad additional support just got a short video and fingers crossed that the sound plays, but we'll all let Beverly know if uh, if it doesn't. So this is just a short video that's um, by Shared Lives Plus um, about, about Shared Lives that give you an idea. I was unsure, very unsure. <laughs> I didn't know if this would work. Yeah, it was, um, there was little challenges, but nothing that we didn't get over, and we, we did bond pretty much straight away. Yeah, we have a good time, don't we? Yeah. We do things that we wouldn't yeah. normally do. I wouldn't have been to Rome or Barcelona if it hadn't been for quiz. It's just the social side of it. We're just, we're just up for anything, really. If there's something going on, we just go and have a bit of fun. Um, he likes his bowling. He likes to go out dancing and likes a beer, so it's... Perfect. Feel much better living in a family than living alone at such a young age. The rewards come from John. It's lovely having him in our house and in a part of our family. And um, and it's it's I know it's only been a really short period of time, but John has changed our lives and it's lovely. All right. Hello, darling. Hello. Hello. That's it. But since he's been with me, it's the first time he's ever bought his mum and dad a drink and things like that. So when we go out, he buys the first round. They say you have to be patient to be shared life carer, but I think a lot of the time you have to be patient to live with a shared life carer. <laughs> I would say fun, actually. There's not been, wouldn't call it work at all. I, I didn't even know you existed. But I thought, when, when I got told about it, I thought that, that, that's a good idea. I may as well go for it. It's like having a brother actually, to be fair. Just looking after my brother now. So it's not, I don't look at it as a carer. It's, it's a great idea, Shared Lives. I, I, I do like living with Shared Lives. I think it's just the nicest living around the family. You're just part of the family. Chris is just another member of the family, really. Thank you, Beverly. So that was just a short video. I hope that um, it was the dubbing was slightly out on that. I don't know whether that was the same experience for all of you. So if it was, I do apologise for that. Um, so with regards to, to our shared life scheme um, and what we do with, with the shared life carers, um, we are um, registered under the Care Quality Commission under CQC. Um, and because of that, you know, CQC do monitor, they do inspect, um, and we're in regular contact with them. So our role as a service is to um, recruit shared lives carers, to train them, um, to uh, put an assessment together. Um, our shared lives carers come to what we call panel, where, which is basically we, we have an assessment process that, um, with the shared lives carers over a period of months. And we, we collate all that information, bring all, together all that information, and then we present it to panel. And then a decision is made as to whether people will be approved as shared lives carers. And part of that um, pre-approval um, process is that we do things like background checks, things like DBSs, and, and, and carers have mandatory training, things around safeguarding. They, you know, they have they have basic first aid training, um, training around mental capacity. So they they have a lot of um, background going on before they come to panel. 
and then as I say panel then decide whether these people you know we feel these people are appropriate to become shared lives carers um, we also um, continue to monitor those shared lives arrangements so um, we, we myself my deputy and the scheme workers of the team go out and visit shared lives carers and the people that are living or having breaks respite breaks short breaks with the shared lives carers um, we put together support plans we put together all risk assessments and, and positive behavior support plans um, and we ensure that they're kept up to date continuously so that we are helping people and supporting people to achieve what they want to achieve, to achieve those goals that they, they want to achieve. We offer support to, to the carers themselves, but we also support the people that are staying with, with the Shared Lives Carers. We um, help the customers to to think about what they want to achieve whilst they're, they're in Shared Lives. You know, is there something they're particularly looking for? Is it to make, you know, is their goal to make friends? Is their goal to, to be more involved in their community, to seek employment, that kind of thing? And we work with the Shared Lives Care to support them to do that. And we work with the individuals themselves. Um, and again, as I say, our, our scheme is responsible for the, the kind of monitoring uh, of the Shared Lives Service, but we work in partnership with other professionals. So we work with locality teams. So if, if someone has allocated social workers and things, but we also work with a lot with the duty teams, um, it, you know, to kind of work through any issues that people are having or signpost people to ensure that they're getting what they want out of their shared lives arrangement.